Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel and Happy New Year. Uh, today is the 1st of January 2019 and for today's video I really want to do a designer uh, shoe collections. I will do a part one and a part two. So the first part will be actually just about flats, sneakers, uh, sandals and on the second part you will do you will see the high heels they are on from my designer collection so if you guys are interested let's keep watching uh, so yeah guys don't forget to subscribe to my channel I will really appreciate it click a thumbs up if you like it and everything that I mentioned I will link it down below and yes just text me if you need anything if you have any questions um, yes so let's get started shall we I'm not going in a particular order. Everything that I own, I pay with my own money. I just want to show you guys my collection that I have been, um, the shoes that I have been collecting uh, for the past years. And shoes and bags, as you guys may know, it's uh, the thing that I really enjoy, uh, that I'm really interested in. I, I love fashion and bags and shoes are a really big part of it. So the first shoe that I have, it's from Hermes and I think everyone by now, if you show, if I, if you saw my my videos before, you already seen these shoes. These are the Hermes Oran sandals uh, in the gold color. These ones are beautiful. I bought them, I bought them as a Christmas present for myself, and I'm so happy I did. Uh, I haven't worn them yet, but I'm so excited. I can't wait. Uh, in March, we're going to do our first honeymoon because we never had one. We went to Dubai for a week, but now we're going to the States as our honeymoon. So I can't wait to use them. So I don't can actually already not say if they're comfortable or not. Uh, I have them in a size 40, I'm usually a size 39, but I think these, because I have a really wide foot, I think 40 will be perfect. So I will actually do a review later on this year and exactly tell you guys if these are comfortable or not. Next designer uh, shoes um, is Chanel. I have three pair of flats from Chanel. The first pair is the uh, Chanel Espadrillas. These are one of my favorite uh, summer sandals or summer summer shoes that I own. Uh, this one are the classic one with the pearl color uh, in leather lambskin with the black, um, I think it's like a texture kind of color. They look like this and these I have been using a ton. This is my second summer wearing them and they're like still in pristine conditions and they're just beautiful. The second pair of uh, Chanel shoe that I own is also Espadrillas and this one is actually my first Chanel Espadrillas I ever bought. I bought them in München, also in Munich, uh, three years ago I think it was. They look like this, they are like in a, um, like a dark blue color, like marine blue color uh, and they have also patent leather on the side and also the, the, the sign, the logo of Chanel is also in patent leather. And these are also beautiful. I wore them all the trip we had to Thailand and yeah, <laughs> they're still like perfect, like pristine condition still. Uh, I love them. I use them a ton and not just for summer, but also like for spring. Um, yeah, perfect shoes. Last pair of uh, Chanel that I own. They are a little bit beat up because I use them a lot. They're very, very old shoes. I think I bought them uh, probably eight years ago uh, in Barcelona, I think it was. And these ones are the, I'm so sorry, they're, they look so dirty, but these are the Chanel, uh, the Chanel Ballerina uh, in the classic beige, like nude color in lambskin with the black leather uh, with the Chanel here in front. I have been using them a ton. As you guys can see, they have stained everywhere. I also have been using when it was raining, not very good to do like this they look but to be honest i still use them um they're still one of the most comfortable ballerina shoes i own i think like ballerinas for my feet are not the perfect fit uh, i usually have a lot of blister and a lot of pain but these ones are actually very very comfortable so i do recommend this pair of shoes i think they're a classic they fit on everything and they're also comfortable so it's perfect perfect combination yeah, and they look very elegant as well. 
Uh, next pair of shoes is also a sandal, and these are, are from, or yeah, I will say that maybe yeah. Uh, and these are from Givenchy. I just I just own one pair of Givenchy, and you also maybe already know which one they are. But these are the Givenchy slides, the black one with the white logo. These one are probably my favorite 2018 purchase I've ever did. Uh, last year I will do also if you guys know if you guys want I will do like a favorite of 2018 show you uh, not just a designer item that I bought but also uh, my favorite makeup or skincare so if you're interested just write it down below and uh, I will really um, I would like to do that because I think I think it's very interesting so these are probably one of my favorite purchase in 2018 um, I use them uh, in Dubai every day um, I use them the whole summer they're very comfortable uh, they just look very edgy very cool and yeah they're slides but at the same time I know I think the black and white and also the logo of Givenchy is so beautiful it's so stunning that it makes in every outfit um, really cool so yeah I'm really happy with them now on to actually the kind of sneakers that I own uh, from designer item um, the first pair is a really weird pair. I think not a lot of people appreciate this, cap this type of shoe, but for me it's a very edgy, cool look and me personally I love it. I have been not wearing it a lot as I wish I did, but I love that they are in my collection. I will never sell them. I feel like um, at the beginning they were very hated and then they were very hyped. Everyone wanted them and they were sold out everywhere and now I feel like they are back at it. A lot of people still wear them a lot. For me, I'm not wearing as much as I did at the beginning when I bought them, but I'm still very happy they're still in my collection. So these are the Stella McCartney shoe. <laughs> it looks like this, it looks huge actually. Uh, I don't really know the name, the actual name of this, but this one is the classic version because they have like different ones. Stella McCartney did one in rose and gold with stars on them, with big stars, or in silver with stars. I also saw a pair in different colors, like a um, rainbow colored. I saw them as well, like in jeans type of texture. And this one is actually the classic one. I first saw it because HRH Collection and beautiful YouTuber uh, bought them first and then I was like oh my god I also need them they're so cool and they're actually um, not leather because Stella McCartney is vegan is against like animal using animal leather and stuff so everything is vegan leather and um, and this is of course is wood so they're very heavy um, when I saw them I bought them immediately I wear them a lot when I bought them but now I don't wear them as much but I still feel like this is a really cool piece it looks like it literally looks like art um, but then I also think like you can still use them a lot you can use them a little, a little bit in, uh, in um, spring in summer you can also wear them in autumn but they are very heavy so you do have to think about that but I will suggest to go a half a size down or, or a whole size down because this one is 40 and before I was actually a 40 now I'm a 39 uh, and I feel like they are too big for me so maybe that's also the reason why I don't use them as much um, but I think you have to go to in store and to weary if you want if you want to buy them you should really try them on because I bought these online because they were like impossible to find in stores so that's why I ordered them on the official site of uh, Stella McCartney but I love them they're really cool but they're very heavy I will try to lift them both they look like this <laughs> really cool very high and and very high type of shoes but i'm really happy that i bought the classic black one ah they also have it in beige and this was also another color i was thinking about to buy the beige one because i think a alexandra from hri collection i think she has both i think she has the black one and the uh beige one the nude one so yeah next designer is gucci and from gucci i have two um sneakers from them uh, the first one is, I'm not going in a particular order, I'm just taking whatever I can get here, is the Sneakers Ace, the popular one with the pearl. 
And these shoes bought my husband to me for my 30th birthday last year. And I really wish, I was wishing for these shoes for a very long time because um, I didn't want the classic one. I really wanted something a little bit more different that I really could have um, a really good wear of, um, but not be like more generic. I really want to stand out a little bit more. So these pearls, I mean, I love pearls. I'm obsessed with pearls. So I, I thought this would be perfect match for me. They do have spikes on the side. So cool. And these side are green and on the other side they are red. So they are really beautiful. On this side they are like plain as the classic is sneakers ace. So these I've been wearing a lot, like all the time when I when I got them and I still do. I feel like although they're really edgy, they're very um they're very classic and I think they make the the, the look look much more cooler. So yeah, but for this one, they're very big to size, like they are really huge. You should wear them, you should never buy them online, you should wear them in the store. I went down one whole size, like I'm 39 and these were are 38, I think. Let me check again. Yeah, this one are 38, yeah. 39 was huge on me, so a whole size down, but I will suggest to go in store and try them on but really good pair of shoes, I love them so much. Next pair of Gucci, uh, these I bought also with my husband. Um, these I bought in um, the Gucci store, I think this was in Milan a couple of years ago. And these when I'm just fixing them, <laughs> so they look a little bit more like put together. These are the um, classic Gucci ones with the brown color. And of course with the Gucci logo on the side, like all over it. And on the back, they look like this and they say Gucci all the way up. And these shoes look a little bit like the Converse, I feel like, right? They look a little bit like the Converse here on the side and here as well. Um, also very comfortable shoes. Uh, these also went the whole size down. And yes, I have I have not been using them as much as I thought I would. Uh, my husband bought the same, but he uh, decided to sell them to sell them because he didn't wear them as much as he, he thought he would do. Uh, but for me, I really want to save them and have them in my collection because I do love them. I think this color is very good on me, like dark brown earth color. So I keep them still in my collection. Next is another designer um, and it's Isabelle Marant. I'm a huge fan of Isabelle Marant. Um, I love her, her clothes, but I'm a huge fan of her um, sneakers. I have been for many years and I tried a lot of times because this is also another thing with Isabelle Marant, you also have to try your shoes because sometimes they are a little bit, they run a little bit small, so you have to go a size up. Um, so you really should try them on in store. So the shoes that I'm end up buying were the Isabel Marant, the, the sneakers one with the wedge. And I wanted these shoes for so many years. I think I, I bought a lot of like um, copies, a lot of them that looked like this one just to try them on because I thought it was just a trend. But it wasn't because it, this trend hold on for so many years and the look, the real look of these Abel Moran shoes, I never saw somewhere else. I remember when I went to St. Petersburg and I saw like a Russian girl. She was so beautiful, tall, really, really skinny, like really long legs. And she had like a Celine bag, like a red Celine bag and like a mini. No, I think it was like a, not a mini, not a micro. The, the, the smallest of them all, I don't remember, with, which is crossbody. She had one in red. And on this, she, wore, she was wearing the Isabel Moran sneakers. And I was like, oh my God, I want them so bad. So then I tried to find them and I did. I tried them first on in New York with my friends. Um, and I thought like, oh yeah, they fit good, but they're, they're not perfect. I think this one, I think it's a third. Yeah, exactly. This is a 40 because I tried the 39 and they were so small on me. Like they run so small, especially here in the front and because it's very narrow and my feet is a bit, are a little bit wider. So I end up buying the 40 and they're perfect. Thank God I did. 
and yes i love them i use them a ton especially during autumn like fall and winter time uh for summer it's a little bit too hot for it like it doesn't work that good but for cold weather these are amazing and they look like this and i do love the the look of it it's so edgy so cool so the last designer um is balenciaga uh, we all know this year, like last year, 2018, Balenciaga was huge and I think it will still be huge this year as well. Um, I love Balenciaga. Um, the first shoe that I want to show you is a pair of shoes that my husband bought to me two years ago. And I went to Paris for New Year's Eve, not this year, but last year, two years ago with my husband. And everyone, everyone in Paris will stop me and ask me where I bought them. Because Balenciaga back then with these shoes, they were impossible to find, especially in this color combination because they were always sold out. Now I think maybe it's easier to come across, but back in the days when he bought them to me, it was like really impossible. And everywhere I went, in every store, they were like asking me, where did you buy them? You know, I will, I tried to find them everywhere. They were sold out. Um, so these are beautiful. I show them right now. Here they are. I don't have the name of it, but these are the balancing that my husband bought to me for Christmas. This was, yeah, it must be two or three years ago. Two years ago, must be. And the combination is like the beige and like, light pink color like the nude combination of them and oh my god they are so comfortable they look so chic they are like a dream like they're literally a dream and he bought them to me in greeter the shopping store in luxury shopping store in Zurich and that was also very difficult there like he was talking with so many essays to find the right pair of shoes to me the, the right uh, size incredible so he did such a great job and i love them so so much next pair i think you already know which one it is from balenciaga because i already showed them before to you guys these are the speed runners runners um sneakers this one the one not the oreo one but the one that are black plain black with the balenciaga logo on the side and just white and as you guys can see they're kind of dirty because i have been using it the whole fall season I have to say and winter season because I still wear them a lot they are beautiful they fit amazing I'm so happy I got them still get a lot of compliments for them and I can just highly highly recommend that this will never go out of out of style I feel like this is a classic piece for Balenciaga so and they're true to size and they're so so comfortable they are exactly like a sock so yeah so these, everyone, was my whole uh, designer shoe collection when it comes to sandals, slides, flats, ballerina, sneakers. So if you're inter interested in the part two, just wait for it. It will come up as soon as possible. I think it will come up uh, this, this week or probably the next week. We will see. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, if you like it, please click a, th a thumbs up and uh, try to um, subscribe to my channel. I would really, really appreciate it. I hope you had a fabulous New Year's Eve and also a beautiful time now with your family and friends. Mwah! Bye, guys.